My name is Jeremy Valentin. I'm the founding director of Stanford's Virtual Human Interaction Lab. For 20 years, I've been building immersive virtual reality, testing to see how it affects the brain, testing to see which applications work and which ones don't, how people learn, how they communicate, and what makes virtual reality unique as a medium. When you think about the history of virtual reality, it starts with the flight simulator. Let's use VR to train pilots because they should be able to make mistakes, get feedback, and become better at their jobs. And a lot of the research we've done here in this building is about how you can use virtual reality to train people to get better at physical tasks, at mental tasks, at spatial tasks, at STEM learning where they're learning scientific principles. An overwhelming amount of research shows that virtual reality as a medium is extremely special for helping people learn to get better. Virtual reality is an epic win for training scenarios that involve doing something. When you're learning how to talk to someone, when you're learning where you should look, where you should direct your attention, where repetitions of getting this muscle memory are critical, that's where the research shows that virtual reality is substantially better than other media, whether it's watching a video or whether it's reading a manual, because you're actually doing these behaviors and this performance, this embodied cognition, really leverages major differences in performance when it's about doing a task. Virtual reality takes all the guesswork out of it. You're actually doing stuff, you're moving your body. So those same neural pathways that get activated when you walk towards someone or you practice throwing a ball or you are looking on a factory line and moving your arms back and forth, you're actually causing the activation in the brain that happens when you do the event. So what you get is repetition, learning over time to change these neuronal connections and what our evidence has shown in the lab is that this repetition aspect, leveraging the body movements, causes changes in learning that endure over time. In the history of VR, we have never, we being academics studying how it affects the brain, we've never had the data set that Striver has. It is unbelievable in terms of millions of use cases of people using virtual reality. We've got all of their body movements. We know their job performance. And for the first time in history, we are able to build these complex models where we can basically predict how you're gonna do on your job from the way that you train, which is no different from our roots in football. Coaches watch how players do in practice. What we can do at scale is watch you as you're training, whether it's at Walmart or Nationwide or at Verizon, and we can use this to understand what's working and learning, what's not, which employees need an extra boost, which ones get it. And it's a quantitative way to truly understand the effects of learning and where we can help employees better. I really believe virtual reality is gonna change the way we train in just about every job that's out there.